Well, you guys love my last TikTok video, so I went back to TikTok, this time to find viral Instant Pot recipes. The question is, are they even that good? Now, the hard thing for me about TikTok recipes is that lots of times they don't have exact ingredients. So with these videos, I'm going to guesstimate. I'm gonna try and get as close as possible to the original recipe. All right, if you guys are ready, let's just jump into it. The first recipe is Instant Pot Ribs from Low Carb State of Mind. Now, this recipe has 1.1 million views. All right, let's check it out. Okay, looks good. She took the membranes off, no one likes that. Mustard. Really, in an Instant Pot, interesting. Paprika, yes. Had it dry, mustard, nice, okay. I'm excited for this. What's she gonna use? Oh, apple cider vinegar. Yes, I love using that in the Instant Pot. Okay, she put it in. I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. 25 minutes, yep, I do that. Let it release on its own. I'd probably go a little longer than 15, but 15 will work. Pull it out, looks good. I hope she broils it. I really hope she broils it. Yes, broiled it, looks good. Okay, let's do it. All right, mine's a little different because we're gonna do baby back ribs. I actually like those a little bit better, so we're gonna cut into this. Now, there is a little bit of fat here. I don't love the fat on my ribs, so I'm just going to cut out a little bit of the fat. Okay, then you wanna make sure that you flip. Now, she did it right, you wanna get rid of these membranes. I just kinda stick, stuck my thumb under. Sometimes you can just pull it right off. Others, you have to really work at it, but just to get that extra layer, it will make it a lot easier to eat and to cut when it's done cooking. Now, this part was interesting that she did mustard because I usually only do mustard when I smoke meat, so we're gonna give it a try. I've never done the mustard in the Instant Pot, so we'll see how it goes. All right, and it looks like she just didn't really measure, just lots of salt and pepper, which I am a fan. Then she had some paprika. We're gonna use smoked paprika because I like that better. All right, then we're gonna flip it, do the same. Salt and your pepper. Can't go wrong with the paprika. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so we have about three-fourths cup of water. We're gonna add about a, another fourth cup of apple cider vinegar. She didn't really measure, which is just fine when you're getting liquid for an Instant Pot. You're totally fine doing that. The thing that I'm gonna do different, I'm gonna add a trivet to the bottom of the Instant Pot. Then we'll just add the liquid to the bottom of the pot. Now you have two options. You can curl them or you can lay them flat, but I like what she did. I've curled most of my ribs when I cook them and I like that a little bit better. When you use the trivet, you can lift your ribs up so they're not soaking in the water and I just like it better that way. So put your lid on. Now this is my newer Instant Pot, so we're gonna go to pressure cook and then we're gonna cook this for 25 minutes and we're gonna push start on this one. Now lots of them, you don't have to push start, you can just set the timer and it will automatically go. All right, after about 15 minutes, you're gonna make sure all the pressure is out so you can open up the lid. We're gonna put this on a cookie sheet. We are gonna broil it. I'm sorry if you hear Harper in the background. She's a little sad right now. Ooh, it is falling apart, literally falling apart. We're just gonna flip this because I wanna put some barbecue sauce on this side. All right, now you're just gonna take your favorite barbecue sauce. I have Sweet Baby Ray's here, which I love, but it, there is also sugar-free barbecue sauce that you can use too. And then I'm just gonna take a brush and we're just gonna spread the barbecue sauce all over. Now we're gonna broil this baby. I'm just gonna do a high broil for a few minutes or until my barbecue sauce starts to bubble a little bit. So you wanna make sure you keep an eye on it. You don't want it to burn. Special helper today. All right, let's cut into this. Oh, it just, you don't really need to cut. It really just falls apart. <laughs> All right, taste test of the ribs. Mm. She did a great job. That was delicious. Definitely five out of five. All right, the next recipe is Instant Pot Burrito Bowls. Now this is like a chicken and rice bowl. This recipe is from Sweetly Splendid and it has just over a million views. Nice, putting her meat on the bottom of the Instant Pot. That's what I like to see. Spices. Okay, we're gonna have to guess on the spices here. This, <laughs> it'll be interesting. Mix it all together. Nah, you don't really have to mix it at the Instant Pot. Rice, okay, we'll guess on the rice too. And then the chicken broth. Good, she's covering up her rice just so it'll all cook. All right, 10 minutes. I approve of that, I approve. When it's done, let it release on its own, good. Okay, interesting. I probably won't add as much rice in there. Looks good, looks good. 
Okay, let's give it a try. All right, with her chicken, she cut it into bite-sized pieces, which is great, but if you don't have time to cut it up, you can always just throw it in whole like this. But I did like the fact that if you cut it up, you can cook it for a lot less time. So we'll chop it up today. We'll see how that goes. All right, she did this part right. You put the meat in the bottom of your Instant Pot. It'll just make your life a lot easier. Now she doesn't have a lot of measurements, so we're gonna do one cup of corn. Then for the seasoning, we have one packet of taco seasoning. She added garlic powder in there, so I'm guessing it's about one teaspoon of garlic powder. Also guessing on the cumin, I'm guessing about one teaspoon. She had one can of black beans, now that's rinsed and drained. I'm guessing close to about a cup of salsa. If you wanna add more, you could. Now she didn't tell us how much chicken broth, so I'm gonna start with two cups. We for sure want about a cup, because we're gonna add some rice in here after that. Okay, that's about two cups. And then we have a half cup of rice that we're gonna put in here. And you just wanna make sure she had it right, that your rice is covered with liquid or at least touching liquid, or else you'll get some crunchy rice. Now we're gonna put the lid on. If you have a little knob that says sealing or venting, make sure it's on sealing. We're gonna go to pressure cook. Now she's gonna cook hers for 10 minutes. I actually cook my chicken for a little bit longer, so we're gonna go 12 minutes and then let it release on its own for a little bit. Once all the pressure's out, you can go ahead and open up your lid. Nice, now I probably could have added a little bit more rice, but I'm okay with this texture. All right, now I like the toppings. That's my favorite part. So we're gonna add some guacamole, a little bit of sour cream, and then a little bit more cheese on top. So this is our chicken burrito bowls. That is good. I love that that is just quick, easy. You probably have most of the ingredients for it, so if you're looking for a quick one, I'm giving this one a five out of five too. It's delicious. Okay, this last recipe is Easy Potato Soup from Hey Judith. Now this one has just over 500,000 views. Okay, hmm, not real potatoes, interesting. Cream and chicken soup in the Instant Pot. Ooh, be careful with that. Cheese. Be careful, don't. She's mixing it. I, I wouldn't have mixed it. Okay, she added her cream cheese in there. She didn't show it, but for the most part, it looks really good. Easy enough, right? Now she used the potatoes that you buy in the freezer, but if I'm gonna make potato soup, I'm gonna use real potatoes. So I have three potatoes here. We'll put into the bottom of the Instant Pot. Now her recipe calls for a third cup of onion. If you put a whole onion in there, it would still taste delicious. Some pepper. Now she adds some salt. Beware, if you have a touchy Instant Pot, so if you get the burn notice a lot, don't add this yet. Or if you are gonna add it, don't mix it like she did, because chances are you'll get the burn notice. So I am going to add it in, but we are not. Not, not going to mix it. Then she adds four cups of chicken broth. I love using these containers because I know there's four cups in there so I don't have to measure anything. She also added a cup of cheese. Again, we're not going to mix this. We don't want to burn notice, so we're gonna just leave everything as it is now. So we're gonna put the lid on. If you have a little knob that says sealing, make sure it's on sealing. Now this is my eight quart. You're gonna cook it just the same if you're eight quart, six quart, or even a four quart. So we're gonna go pressure cook. Now we're gonna go up to eight minutes here. Now with this Instant Pot, I have to push start, but most Instant Pots, you don't have to. Now I did love her little tip of putting your cream cream cheese on top of your Instant Pot while it cooks. It will be nice and soft by the time you're ready for it. All right, so make sure all the pressure is released from your Instant Pot. Now it's time to open. I'm glad, so glad we didn't get the burn notice. We're gonna just mix these a little bit. Okay, now the cream cheese that I put on top of the Instant Pot, it is really melty. It's ready to go, so this shouldn't take long. We're gonna mix this in and we can serve it. Okay, so for these toppings, of course you need cheese and potato cheddar soup, right? And then I'm also gonna add a little bit of bacon bits on top. All right, it's just called potato soup, but it looks good, so let's try it. You know, it's not my favorite, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna give it three and a half stars out of five. Mostly there's just not a ton of flavor. I kind of wish there was more vegetables, maybe even more cheese in there. Now out of all three recipes, my kids voted the burrito bowls to be their number one favorite. I voted for the ribs. Now if you want more easy recipes, I have a lot of them just for you. All right, I'll see you guys next time.